Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of the vlog. Uh, as you can see, we are back outside on this back patio. Today we are going to be building a raised garden bed to go off the side of the deck. Uh, if you've been here for a little while, you know that I've got some veggies that have been started from seeds that have are more than ready to be planted. So I'm really excited about today's project because I'm finally going to get them out of their starter pots into their growing home for the season, which means they'll grow big, beautiful, scrumptious, all that good stuff. So I am actually going to do my best to record today to show you how I get it done. This is probably one of the easiest DIYs uh, I will have tackled on this channel to date. Uh, I'm gonna show you where we're going to put the actual raised bed. We'll give you a rundown of all the things that you need. Um, I'll try to include a cut list over on the website, on the blog. If it's not on the blog, I'll try to include it down below. I'm telling you, this is so simple. If you wanna plant in your yard, you're new, you need to build a raised bed. The hardest part for me today is going to be getting it level on the incline, but outside of that, putting it together is gonna to be a piece of cake. So let's hop into today's video. All right, so for starters, before we get started building, let me give you a rundown of the things you're going to need. So I am building a six foot by two foot bed in this particular place, partly because these are eight foot boards, which is going to make my cuts super, super easy. Um, I have right now, it's gonna be two layers because we want it six feet wide by uh, two feet or six feet wide by 12 inches tall by two feet deep. That's going to be the dimensions. Uh, so I've got four two by six by eight pressure treated lumber pieces of lumber here, and then I've got one two by two by eight um, pressure treated. Uh, piece of lumber that is going to actually be stakes in the middle. So that's the materials we're going to use. We're likely going to have to use an additional two by six by eight because I'm on an incline and I'm probably going to have to cut some custom pieces uh, to make this level. But if I can do it without having to do additional pieces and just fill um, backfill with like rocks or something, I think I'm going to do that. Uh, in addition to that, I'll be cutting with my circular saw today. Uh, I could do it on a mire, but this one was easier to get to in my garage. So I said, that's what we're going to do. It's just a few cuts. So because it's only a few cuts, I don't need to go and grab that circular saw. This will make it easy. And to keep my line straight, I'm going to use my square. I've got some gloves. I've got an impact wrench that I'm going to be using as a driver. Um... I've got some three inch deck screws, some drill bits for the impact driver, some clamps so that as I'm putting this together, oh, you're gonna need some wood glue. I don't have it out. I need to go get it out of the closet. And then a hammer, hammer and a scrap piece of wood to hammer these stakes down into the ground. So that's the materials that we're gonna use. Oh, and of course a tape measure. So, I can't believe it's gonna be this simple. I pray this goes as smooth as I think it's gonna go in my head. Uh, now that you know what you need, let's go take a look at where we're actually gonna be building, move those plants out of the way, um, and then get started cutting wood. So this is where we are going to be uh, installing the raised bed. We're gonna do six feet by two feet. I feel like that'll keep it simple. It'll give me enough to get started. This is just one of the raised beds we're gonna have out here in the yard. Uh, I think this total is about seven feet. We're not gonna fill it up. I'm gonna try to push it as close to the stairs as possible. That way I don't have as much slope to compensate for. And if I don't have as much slope to compensate for, I may get away with not having to cut some additional pieces to fill in that gap down there and maybe just surround it with gravel. That way that'll hold um, the rocks in. I also have this drip line here 
that I run, that I ran when they were building the deck so that I can tap into it. So when we water the yard, we can water the bed as well. I'm hoping that with six feet, I can keep this blueberry plant here on the corner in a big planter, it vines. So I'll allow it to kind of grow up this side of the deck. And if that's the case, this is a smaller, more compact blueberry bush. I will put her back on the deck somewhere where she can get some sunlight. This blackberry, I've got to go get her a friend so that she can pollinate, but they can go in the ground. And my intentions are to take these blackberries and put them over by where the fig trees are, flank them on each side, and that'll be good. So we're going to clear this out. It's raining a little bit, uh, so I may not clear this until after I've got the frames for the beds built because I can cut those up under the patio and be just fine. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to just let this be here, build the frames, and then once the frames are built, bring it over now. I normally would be bummed out because it's raining, but in this case, it's actually going to work in my favor because I need to get down into the ground and it'll make it easier for me to get those stakes down into the ground. So let's go cut some wood, friends. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna get all of the lumber cut for the boxes. All I'm doing is measuring out. In this case, I want six feet in length. So I'm measuring out six feet, marking it off with my square, and then I'm gonna go in with my circular saw and cut um, the line straight. Usually I would use a miter for this, but it was a little deeper in my garage than what I wanted to go. And I figured with a straight line like this and with the board only being six inches um, across that I could handle doing a straight line with my circular saw. And I actually did a pretty good job. So once all of the boards are cut, I'll come back and check about, you know, putting them together. But yeah, we're gonna get some wood cut and this is by far the easiest part of the project yet. Yeah, and all I'm doing here is making sure my saw depth is the correct length. I always have to hype myself up in the very beginning before I make my first cut, but I can proudly say that my first cut was great. I followed the line all the way through. Uh, I was trying the technique to be able to use my square, but it was getting caught up. Like the height on it is weird. So I wasn't able to use it the entire way, but I did use it to start and then I would pull it out and just continue to follow the line and that worked perfectly. Now, I just wanted to take a minute to welcome you if you are new to the channel. Thanks so much for clicking through on today's video. I really appreciate you. Uh, my name is Kay Whitaker. I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I'm a content creator. Uh, and we built this channel designed around us documenting the process of building our new construction home. And now that we're in, we are taking our time slowly but surely, customizing it and turning it into um, kind of the home that my family and I Will love just taking it from semi custom to extremely custom based off of my design aesthetic and our family needs. So uh, I'm really excited to have you here. I know we've been in an outdoor series for quite some time now, but my family and I are outdoor junkies. We've been in the home now for a year and we love our backyard. And we, I really just wanted to take some time before the heat of Texas kicked in to really create a space that we can enjoy this year uh, and really get the most out of our backyard this year. So that's why you see us outside a lot. But in addition to what we're doing outside, you know, I've got a whole playlist from house to home uh, with some DIY projects that we've done in the past and some decorating that we've done in the past and like the kitchen, the living room, my home office and our primary bathroom that'll kind of give you an idea of what our style is. I'll be sure to link it down in the comments below and I'll leave a card for it up in the video now as well. But I'd love for you to stick around. I love to decorate in color. Even though I like color, I still like it to feel like a neutral space, if that makes sense at all. Uh, so I'm coining the term the whole colored neutral but I'd love it if you like what you see and you enjoy the channel 
that you would subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss a notification the next time we upload. Uh, it's myself, my husband. We've got four kids. If you want to learn more about us, you can connect with us all over the internet. I'm on Instagram. I try TikTok every once in a while, Facebook, Pinterest. You know, all you have to do is look up Kay Whitaker, and I'll leave those links down in the description as well. Um, but for today, I would love to know who's tuning in, where you're tuning in from. Do you enjoy doing DIY projects in your yard or in your home at all? And if you're new here, introduce yourself so we can get to know each other. But outside of that, I just wanted to do a quick welcome while you were watching me cut the wood for today's raised garden bed. And thank you so much for tuning into the channel. And if you've been here for a little while, hey, friend. Uh, but yeah, enjoy the rest of today's video. And we'll chat in a minute once I get all of the cuts made. Now that all of the cuts are made, we got both boxes cut. All we have to do is connect them with our outside screws. And that is where our impact wrench that we are going to convert into a driver is going to come in handy. And getting those screws in quickly, efficiently, without having to do a whole bunch of work. And then once they're assembled, it's gonna be dropping them in place and figuring out how to get them leveled, which is what this is for so i may need some additional help for that i don't know i'm gonna try to do it on myself um but if it gets too complicated or it hurts or something like that then i may wait on reinforcement when one of the boys get home later today but if i can get it done on my own we're gonna get it on our own so for now let's move on to putting the wood blocks together uh and assembling the boxes uh both layers of the boxes for the beds Okay, so assembling the pieces was pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm just doing a butt joint. Like, I didn't do anything fancy on these. Um, like, it's just a raised garden bed. But now that I say that, and you'll see next week, we're going to dress up the corners just a little bit. Um, but in today's video, putting them together is pretty straightforward. I'm using a impact wrench that I converted to a driver with a little piece that I found on Amazon. And this thing is powerful. It's 20 volts. Um, and I got it from Walmart. So I was kind of like, oh, it ain't going to be that much. But girl, listen, like she gets it done. <laughs> okay. So I did struggle. These were like the first set of screws that I got in. I'm using three inch deck screws and they don't need a hole pre-drilled per se, but I do think it would have been a lot easier if I would have pre-drilled the holes, at least on the outside board. Uh, but I will say once they caught, they went ahead and took care of their business. Like it was it was no problems at all. I will say that using this clamp, however, dot, 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 um, probably slowed me down more than it helped me. After I got my form down and I realized w the technique that I needed to use in order to get these screws in real quick, I actually removed the clamp. And I don't know if I got footage of that or not, but I actually removed the clamp and just held the board in place and it went in just fine. The screws catch pull it together it was nice I spent more time trying to get the clamp together and get the wood pieces set up now I am doing a happy dance here because I conquered my fear of this device but yeah the clamp's not necessary so 
Once I got the first pieces in, I realized that it would probably be quicker to move it to a flat surface. It's raining, but this wood is ground contact treated, so it's going to be in the rain anyway. Uh, so I was able to move a lot quicker with getting this assembled once I got to a flat surface and I could just hit all corners of the box at the same time. And then once I got all four of the corners put together, uh, I moved the first one in place so that I could see what it looks like. And you'll see that in just a second. So enjoy the tunes. We'll be back. Here's a close up of the screw going in pretty quick. Um, it's all about technique and making sure you got the right size bit uh, and the right angle on your device and you're going to be good to go, child. So box one is made and I brought it down just to get a visual of where this is going to land. And I am definitely going to need, you know what? I don't know. So this is clearly we ought to incline. So I am going to have to what I might do uh, because the problem what I'm thinking was I was going to connect into that post level it out underneath but there's cement right there I'm not going to be able to look oh unless I level from the ground unless I just do this side and just level it from the ground over there. And then I'll need another support post on this side and I'll drop two support posts over there. I'm not quite sure if that's gonna work or not, but this is just the size that I needed because she can come in her glory, sit next to it other veggies will be there okay let me go put this other box together and then figure out how we're going to move this thing out that's going to be the hard part putting it together is not hard the hard part is figuring out how we're going to make it level let me go put my brain to work i'll be right back Okay, so I have the first two layers in and I'm definitely not gonna be able to get away with just adding rocks. Uh, I am for sure gonna have to get some help because <laughs> I can't do this part by myself, but I'm gonna have to lift it up, get the first two pieces leveled, and then once they're leveled, cut the custom sizes on the other two by sixes. Um, so one side is gonna have more dirt in it than the other. But so far, I absolutely love the way it looks. I'm not yet done cutting wood, but I'm gonna give you a close up of where we are right now. And then I'm gonna clean up some because we're not gonna be able to get to this before the weekend is over. I don't think, uh, it depends on what time. We might, I don't know. I'll see if my uh, son can help me. 
when he gets home because we don't have any practices or anything. So I might be able to finish it today, but I'm gonna clean up what's already messed up for right now. Uh, and then we'll come back and finish cutting up some stuff later. So here's the close up of where we are so far. So the two pieces are just stacked on each other. They're not attached yet. So I've got to cut some supports to go down in the ground to connect the pieces to, which is why you don't see like any L brackets or anything inside of the bed, because I'm going to actually cut these support brackets and attach the wood to these support brackets. And by doing that, it will attach the wood to itself so that it doesn't move, doesn't shift or anything like that. So I'm going to cut a few more pieces and try to see see if I can get this uh, leveled on my own. Cross your fingers. Wish me luck. Let's see if we can get it done. Okay, so I've got the stakes cut and I went over to put them in the ground just to try to hammer them in. And I don't know that I'm gonna be able to handle hammer them in the ground. So I went and got my auger. I'm gonna dig a hole. I'm going to backfill that hole with concrete, let it cure. Um, so these things ain't going nowhere, but, but now we gotta get said hole dug so that I can even see if this is a viable option. So let me see if I can make this work. y'all so it's came from another day 
<laughs> and clearly you can see that trying to level that bed by myself is going to be uh, more than what I can handle by myself. So today I'm gonna stop because I've done as much as I can do today alone. And honestly, spoiler alert, you'll see next week that plans have kind of changed as far as location is concerned because our schedules are like bananas right now. And if Tim ain't traveling, I'm on the road. And if I'm not on the road, Tim's on the road. Or we got stuff to do. We got health fairs and stuff that we're gonna be working. Like it's a lot going on. So I do not know if we will be able to tackle together getting that leveled and I need to get it. I need to get these raised beds installed. So I've switched gears just a little bit and I'll share what that new direction is in next week's video because we'll be able to finish it up, have it looking all nice and stuff. Uh, and the veggies will finally get in their home. But for now, I'm gonna go get cleaned up, go chill out for a little bit um, because trying to do this on my own is more than a notion and we just don't have the time to tackle it between now and then so that's a wrap for today's video um yeah we're still going to come back to having a raised bed here because i absolutely love the idea of having my herbs right off of the um, patio so I can grab them quickly if I'm cooking or if I wanna make a quick lemonade or something. You know, just having something within reach once we have the patio furniture. But I wanna go ahead and wrap this up because I'm ready to decorate. Like I wanna go buy furniture and stuff like that. And I have committed to finishing one thing before I move to the next. So before I can get furniture for this patio, I have to finish up what I have open uh, in the yard. So. I got a little bit of motivation to get that done because I am ready to go and shop for patio furniture because I would like to have the patio furniture here. So when I get back from my birthday trip, you know, it's on and popping in the backyard. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget the cut list for making these beds. It's a six foot long by two foot deep by 12 feet feet high or 12 inches high bed this is the most simplest thing you can do ever as you can see putting it together is not the problem uh and really if you have a flat yard placing it in your yard in an optimal space is not the problem either just for me i'm running into some challenges because we got this deep decline and i can't get it level by myself but outside of that um yeah, this is pretty simple and I can't wait to get everything in it. I'm probably gonna juice it up a little bit too. Just decorate it a little bit more. I'll, we'll share more about those details later. But for now, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching me build the bed and I hope you are inspired to go and build a quick and easy raised garden bed for your garden uh, or outdoor space. And we will be back in next week's video. Bye for now, friend.